as he comes. Come on, let him mind the cow. The field is white, ready for harvest. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord, be blessed. I'm a good shepherd, and he bless sheep. And he promised he would do that. I'm thankful to get to be here this morning. I'm sure, I'm thankful for all that. For everything that I've got to already hear this morning. Yeah, thankful for what I got to feel and thank you. Yeah. Thankful for God's children coming out. Oh, being Lord, hungry and thirsty life. this morning. See, it's, <coughs> it's not always that we come out hungry and thirsty as we need to and not as, you know, always that we come out in the right mind. We try. But I'm thankful for my brothers and sisters who do come out hungry. Lord, be blessed. I don't know what the case will be with me this morning, but hope that for whatever time that I stand up here before you that God will that I will let God come in and use me out I feel like God, He wants to bless His children. Just sometimes Mike gets in the way, and sometimes we can get in the way this morning, Brother Chad, but if He'll use me, I know that I'm willing this morning. Had a couple things on my mind, Brother Chad, and it almost seemed to kind of go right in line with everything that you were saying this morning. Man. <coughs> Lord, it seemed like the whole time this morning I was trying to fight it a little bit thinking, no, oh, Lord, that's that's just me right <coughs> there. And, but it seemed like it just lined right up with everything that you were preaching on this morning. Man. Hope that it would be God's will this morning. I don't know what the case is with you this morning. Where you're at or God knows. I know that I just see a few out this morning and church isn't filled up, but how many just came up here and sat saying, yeah. I need the brothers this morning. I got news if you're here today and you don't know my Lord, you need them more than you could even understand this morning. There is a man who came down and he changed my life, touched it and set me on a street of gold where I just kept thinking, Lord, when is the wind coming? Because surely life can't be this good. When is this great mighty wind coming that's going to knock my whole world down? Well, I got news that was 16 and a half years ago that I was wondering just when, Lord, surely, surely it can't be this good right here. 16 and a half years later, my God is better than I even knew that he was back then this morning. How will this world understand? I don't know just what words always to say or just which way to present it. But I know that I have a good God this morning. And he is better to me than I ever deserved. And brother, and you know it's like this. I was reading a few weeks back and seemed like it just stayed with me. And I hope that it is God's will this morning. But I just couldn't quite see, maybe, you know, I was reading in, in this Bible here about a little story and about this man named Jonah. And brother, and everybody knows the story how God oh, called this Lord, man. Lord and he told him, Jonah, it's time to go and preach to this city, that it be. And I, I tell him that, I, I tell him, I, I go in, I, I preach against this repent. city right here. And Jonah, he ran. A pup when he ran the opposite way. And brother, we all know how Jonah entered into a ship fleeing and running from the Lord and running from that call that God gave him, brother. And you know it's like this right here. Jonah found himself in a ship and a great storm beginning to come. And the men that said they fought and they fought against the seas, trying to make 
taken to safety, brethren. And when it seemed as if all was lost, it said like this. It said that they begin to cast lots. Brethren, trying to see why this turmoil had befallen them, brethren. And Jonah began when they came to him. He spoke right up. Knowing in his heart, brethren, look no more. But God called me and he told me to go and preach to this city. But I ran and I went the other way. Brethren, in those men, like men knew within themselves, they kept fighting the sword and fighting yes, it. Did. Thinking, well, no, let us have one more shot. We'll get ourselves to safety. I got news when you're not with my Lord, you're fighting a losing battle this morning. If you're not on God's side this morning, you're on the wrong side, Papo, and you're fighting a losing battle. It's not about our how often do we say it's not about our ways. It's not about being like me. It's not about being just like Brother Darrell. But it's about following our Lord God and our Savior with everything that's in us. When everything failed, I don't know quite the customs back then, but they came up with a plan was we're going to throw Jonah over the, the over the side and throw him into the water. But it said that God, he was still right in the midst of everything. He prepared, it said, a great fish, and he came and he swallowed Jonah up. <laughs> Brother and Jonah stayed right there for three days. Brother and he stayed right there talking. No doubt have you ever been so low and have you ever had so many things going on that brother you had nowhere else have you ever found you a little closet sometime. I don't care if it was the side of your bed or it was the closet. Have you ever, have you ever felt like, Lord, I'm not sure which way to go. Lord, these problems are money. Have you ever had a talk like that with the Lord? I, I, I know that I've been blessed with sometimes nothing great and mighty, sis. I'm in much mind they were great and mighty. And brother, and after so long of fighting and fighting, I dropped to my knees. And right there, these problems that were huge, brother Chad, I would cry to the Lord and I'd say, Lord, what is wrong with me? The feeling that he's giving me right now. Why don't I live on my knees? Why don't I stay right here in your presence? Because what God gives me is greater than this world. Do you know? I've dropped to my knees worrying. Lord, a lot of bills coming in. Not a lot of money. I hit my knees. And I said, let this world Part that always 
and I knew that you were a good God, and that's why I fled. I knew that your grace in abounds. Yeah. Jonah sat there angry. Said that he sat there, and it said that God, he had a little girl, a little tree sprout up. He said, and it sprout up in a day. And it said it pleased Jonah. Yeah. No doubt the sun must have been shining because sure. it said it was shade upon his head. Yeah. And he was he was so thankful for that tree. Said it sprouted up just in a day. And it said that God, he prepared a worm. Yeah. And that worm, it devoured that tree in a day. And here sat Jonah again. Lord, just take my life. Just kill me, Lord. And the Lord, he looked at him and he said, does it please you, Jonah, to be so angry? You never even worked for that. Nope. You never planted it. You never watered it. You never did anything. I set that there and I made it to sprout up. Brother, and, it is, and it's gone just like it came. And yet here you are so angry. And brother, and I thought to myself about this man so often. And I thought, how often do we see some, a uh, some that would come in with smiles on their faces every time, a uh, uh, some that would come in rejoicing, sis, don't yeah. they? A uh, yeah. some, uh, uh, but some maybe you would see them, uh, and brother, and they don't quite look so happy. Uh, there's not quite joy. Uh, I don't mean this about me at all, but I just uh, I came to my remembrance. Just uh, we had us. Funeral here the other day, and I hugged a young gentleman about midway back, and he said, Do you ever have a bad day? And I said, Sure, I have a lot of them. He said, You're always smiling. And I said, I guess that's because you see me when I'm in the house of the Lord, and you don't see me out in the world. I said, Maybe that's what it is, because trust me, ask my children if I'm always happy. And they
Even though he wanted me, I didn't know these things, and I felt like I was chasing him. How do I get you? How do I find you when he's always standing there waiting on us to begin with? But that is what we have in our minds. When I put him in my life, let him be that boy. For 16 and a half years, this brother's been full. Only time I get a little hungry is when Mike ain't been doing what I need to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Only time that I get a little hungry is when I ain't been going to the master's table enough. Yeah. Yeah. Only time I get thirsty, yeah. brother, is when I ain't been asking for a drink from my Lord. Because yeah. he always provided. Brother, and I looked at that at Jonah just like that, but then I looked at him a couple different ways and I thought... I thought, how often do we not put the Lord where he needs to be in our lives? And You know, I read a story a long time back, and Brother Josh brought it back to my remembrance. And There was this professional golfer one time, and yeah. Brother Nick yeah. said that this man just won a great tournament. And he got him, no doubt, and you've seen it on TV, they'll present him with these huge checks, I guess, just to show uh, the world how big that the money they got or how fancy that it was, yeah. but won't even cut him a little one. This man just won him a great prize at this, at this event, and it said that after the press conference was over and after everyone began to leave, it said that he went out to his car and a woman met him there and she began to tell him, Sir, I have this baby, and it's so sick that it's going to die. Yeah. And brother, and it, uh, we've, we've gone everywhere we can, and I have no money uh, in order to pay for all the uh, things that it needs. And uh, uh, it, Unless you would help us, my baby, it's going to die. And, uh, and brother, and that man, a uh, great big check that he had, he took it, he signed his name to it. And he handed it over to that uh, to that woman and just uh, went on about his way. And it said that it said that a couple months later he was playing at another tournament. And it said that after that tournament he stood before the media taking questions. And it said that a reporter was sitting in the back and he stood up and he said, "Sir," he said, "I wanted to tell you something." He said, "I heard a couple months ago that you met a woman." outside telling you that she had a baby that was going to die. <laughs> and it said that uh, we heard about that and uh, I just wanted you to know, sir, <laughs> that that woman, she's a fraud and she's a fake. <laughs> that, that she doesn't even have a baby that's sick. <laughs> and you've just uh, uh, taken your money and you've given it to her. <laughs> and it said that that golfer he stood up at the podium <laughs> and he looked back at that man Said, you mean to tell me, sir, uh, that there's not a baby that's going to be uh, that's sick and going to die? And he said, no, sir, uh, she's a fraud. Uh, and he looked back at him and he said, that's the best news uh, I've heard in two months. Uh, he said, hey, I've been worrying myself sick, uh, uh, worrying about that baby. Uh, oh, wondering, is it okay? Uh, I got news sometime like yeah. Jonah. Uh, oh, we're not looking in the right Right. Uh, we're not uh, looking at God's gift sometimes. Uh, uh, what he's blessed us with. Uh, uh, that man knew I'm going to be all right. Because uh, uh, I got a God uh, yeah. who takes care of everything. Yeah. Uh, those checks, uh, uh, they come and go. Yeah. Uh, money and faith. Uh, uh, brother, but the love of my Lord. Uh, and what he put down in my heart. Uh, uh, brother, and it stays with me. Yeah. Uh, no matter where I go. This young man, I've been on a few planes before. And if you've ever been on a plane, when you go to take off a little bit, it starts shaking and it starts rocking. I don't have a clue if that's supposed to happen or not. All I know is I don't like it. But I tell you this, Brother Elisha, every time I am so thankful that I've dropped my head and I say, let thy will be done. My life is yours, Lord. Yeah. And if you want me, then, then I'm coming your way. And if you don't, I'll be all right anyways. Yeah. I got news. I don't know what this world has in store for me, but I know that wherever I go and whatever I do, my God, he's going to stay right with me, and he's going to be right there as much as I call on him, as much 
much as I want them in my life, and God will be right there. Yeah. And I thank Him for that. Yeah. He's better to me than I could ever. I could spend my days on my knees, not come close to the goodness that God has already given me. Yeah. He could quit blessing me now, and there's not even a not even a challenge. I can't catch Him. He's been so good to me. That's right. The day that He said, "You are now my son." He beat me right there. God is so good to us. But you got to want Him in your life. you got to desire Him. you got to serve Him. And He'll be right there for you. Yes, He promised. I'm going to let you, brother, go ahead and come on.